and welcome back to Gapey's Garden. This is the first update that I'm doing of the greenhouse since I got the peppers pulled out. So I've got all my winter greens in here. Let's start over here on the left. There's a lot of cilantro that's just come up um, that are volunteers from when I let it go to seed in the summer. And I've also planted a few different varieties of beets. Um, they're pretty small, so I'm not going to get any kind of harvest off of those until the springtime, probably. And then I've also got some kale kind of scattered around here. That's a, a little baby one there. And then I've got some lettuce. There's a couple different varieties. This one here is a winter density. That's supposed to do well in the winter time. And then this is a deer tongue. I've only got one of those, I think. And then I've got a couple of Encino lettuces. And I don't think this is a great variety for winter, especially here. I don't think it lo likes a lot of moisture. I already got one that I had to pull out from over here because it just got too wet and it kind of got moldy. So I'm not sure how well those ones are going to do. And then in the back here, I've got a mix. So this is the first time I've actually grown lettuce kind of all in a, a small area like this, just kind of overseeded. So this is a, I think it's a, I can't remember what kind of mix it is, but it looks like it's got some, some kales and some mustards. And I have no idea what all, what all is in here. I haven't harvested any of that yet, but I'll let it get a little bit bigger before I do that. And then I've got some kales next to that. This is the Bare Necessities kale. It's got really frilly leaves, which are pretty cool. So I've got four of those. And then I've also got some Lacinato or Dinosaur kale. I've got two of those back here and they're doing pretty good. And then next to that, I have some arugula. This is an Astro variety. And I've got, I think, four of those that are doing really good. And then more cilantro down here that volunteered. And then next to that, I have some pak choy and I have a few different varieties of pak choy. I think this one's called the white stem one and it's a pretty large, at least larger than the other varieties that I have. And it's probably ready to harvest. And then I've got some baby pak choy and it's called green fortune, I think. And I've got a few of those. You can see something has been nibbling on that. There's some slugs that I've caught in here and also some some mice, which I'm not sure what if the mice are eating the the greens or not. And then I've got a purple pak choy also been getting nibbled on. I do have a few mouse traps in here. I have them mostly scattered here around the spinach because that seems to be where I see the most mice holes. Um, but I and I also tried to put some sluggo down in here, but the sluggo you can see those little white patches of of mold. That's from the sluggo because it's too wet in here. So all the sluggo is just kind of molding. You can see some more over there. So I'm not going to add any more sluggo because it's just not not working over here like I would like. But I have a bunch of different spinaches over here too. Uh, let's see, we've got Bloomsdale here. And then we've got some Matador, which is a smooth leaf variety over here. And we have Amsterdam, which is another smooth leaf variety. And then there's some fuzz on here. Not sure what that is. It could be from the, the sluggo. And then we've got some baby's leaf lettuce or spinach and more baby's leaf over there. So I think that's all the all the spinach that we have. And then there's some cilantro coming up here and there and everywhere. And then over on the other side is where I have all of the mustard. And the mustard, this is, the leaves are getting huge on this mustard. And this is a variety I haven't grown before. It's called Katsuona, which is, I think, a Japanese mustard. And I'm seeing some kind of wilty leaves here too. I think it's from the excess moisture, just kind of getting a little bit moldy. So I'm not sure what I can do about that. I've been trying to leave the door open as much as possible and then just closing it at night. And then I've got a red mustard variety, but it's not, I mean, there's a little bit of red in the veining, but I thought it would get a lot more red than that. The one in the back has a lot more red. And these are all the same variety. So 
So I'm not sure why that one has more red than the other ones. And then I've got some more kale. This is a blue scotch curled kale. And then a red Russian kale. And I think there's a... Looks like a spinach coming up over here too. And then I have some more arugula. This one is a roquette variety, so it's a little different than the other one. Um, it seems to have more leaves, but they're not as big. And then the rest over here is a bunch of beets. So I actually started these beets inside and transplanted them outside. So we'll see how they do. It looks like they're doing pretty good so far. But again, I'm not going to be able to harvest any of these until the spring most likely because they're not going to grow much during the winter. And then I planted a row of Egyptian walking onions and you can see them just starting to come up out of the ground there. I just planted those I think a couple weeks ago. And then we have some more beets. These are a jewel toned beets. So they're a variety of, of different colors. And I've got some Swiss chard that's inside that I'm going to be letting it get a little bit bigger before I, I put in here. And I don't really have much more room to put it, but I'll probably put some over on this side. There's a little bit of room here. So I'll probably just plant them pretty close together. And that's all we have in the greenhouse. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.